Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie. So we are here to talk about life with Stephanie. Today's video is all about five tips for a new military wife. I am of course a military wife and I'll have my story elsewhere in another video because this is a second career for my husband. Anyway, if you wanna see videos like this or more, please comment, like, subscribe to my channel. That way I know and I can get some more in more videos and content to you and then that way you don't miss out when they're posted. All right, let's jump in. So I'm gonna to share today the top five tips, at least these are from what I have learned or wish I would have known for a new military wife. You ready? There are so many other tips out there, but this is some of the top ones I think of um, when I think of being a military wife and ones that I thought might be helpful for you guys. All right, so tip number one, have a budget. <laughs> Work with your spouse to have a budget. If you don't have one, get one. All right, that is really important. Why? Because uh, military pay is very different um, than civilian pay sometimes. Like you, if you have had a salary, you kind of know exactly what you make. Um, you may put things into the apps and find out, hey, this is what we could be making, this is my base. That's true, that should be what you're making. However, things will change <laughs> and numbers will change. There are times that you're gonna, you're hopefully, say they went to school for something or there's special pay. So like there is jump pay if they go through airborne. There is, um, there's the BAS, which is the basic, um, the food allowance, those sort of things. Those will change. If they get deployed, you lose some of that. So we'll talk about that more deployment stuff in a separate video, but a lot of things change with the pay. So you want to make sure that you have a budget and you have money set aside for different things as well. So that's why a budget will be really helpful. Plus make sure you're understanding when you guys are working on your budget together or going through it, you're understanding um, how the military pay works because that is also super important. That's a whole nother topic too. Number two, be flexible, all right? Because you'll talk to any military wife and they're gonna say, it's the military, it's the army, it's the Navy, it's the Marines, it's the Air Force. Things are gonna change constantly. In other videos, you're gonna hear me talk about those stories, those situations that we have dealt with where things change. You need to be flexible because you don't wanna be stressing yourself out. You don't need that. Your spouse doesn't need that to be a better support and to just enjoy life, be flexible. That means if you're making plans for anything, have a plan B, C, D, A, you know, A through Z, basically. Have them all. And you may go back to plan A, you may go back to plan B. It's all gonna change. Be flexible um, for anything that happens, okay? Number three, get connected. So I've heard a lot of things, a lot of stories from other military wives before my husband had joined um, have known other military wives that have been in for a long time or wives that haven't been in a long time or just new. And one of the biggest things that a lot of them said that either they were kind of lonely, especially if they deployed um, and they're home alone or, but I, I heard a lot of them say when they got connected, especially with their FRG or any events that went on if they were on post or community events or if they went to church, things like that, they got connected and a lot of those people became their lifelong friends. So making sure you are really connected, checking to see if you have FRG, things like that, is gonna be really important for you and making sure you have friends and you have some support because they're gonna have your spouse is going to have the support of his buddies and he's gonna have that as well. And maybe some of those families become support to you as well and that's great too. That is um, exciting as well. But a lot of times they're gonna have their guys, their buddies or their people as well. So you wanna make sure you have it for you. That's important. All right, number four, have a hobby. Yes, if you don't have one, find a hobby. Find something that you enjoy and like to do. 
not just talking a job, but something that keeps you going. And this is really important for any time they deploy or they're working or they have longer hours. Find things that you enjoy to do because you want to also find your identity, who you are. Sometimes with being flexible, <laughs> number two's tip, you drop everything for them and you may feel like you've lost your identity. Find those hobbies, find the things you like because that is where you're also gonna help find your identity and who you are, okay? So find those hobbies, find things you enjoy doing and make sure you do those and you carve out the time to do those, okay? All right, number five, my last one. This is super important, make the most of it. So military life is also amazing. It is stressful, it is different. Anyone you talk to is very different than being in the civilian world, but it has its pros and cons, it's just like being in the civilian world, just like any job. However, it is your life. And so when you make the most of it, you have date nights, you know, when you are together, Hopefully if you've had that budget, you have a date night budget, right? You have these different things so that if you know, hey, they have a long, um, long training or they're gonna be gone during these times or they're gonna be deploying soon, that way you can splurge a little and having some date nights, some fun, making some fun memories, one, so they can take them with them and have those memories and you have those memories to hold on to as well um, while they're away. So those are some great things to do is make the most of it, enjoy it, if you're moving all the time and get to know the areas, get to know the people. Don't be afraid to get to know the people. Even if you know in the back of your mind, I may be moving again. Some of those people will continue to be your lifelong friends and they're going to be amazing um, friends to have the rest of your life and you'll start making connections. You'll start realizing how small <laughs> the military world and life can be and how many people you will meet. So be sure to enjoy it and be sure to find the positive. I guess that's another way to look at it. Find the positive in things and find ways to both embrace it and enjoy it together. And that is how you'll make the most of it. And that is how you'll be able to best support your soldier and help you to enjoy this journey with them. Hopefully this is a helpful video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Comment below if you guys have questions. Happy to answer those and I am here for you. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed these top five tips. There's so many other tips out there, but these are the ones I wanted you to think about for you as a spouse personally on what you can do as a new military wife. And congratulations. Welcome to the family. Bye everyone.